Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to show how to actually update a banner. Now this is two parts. There's one before that, which is to show actually how to do the system and create it so it's this easy. But this is the video on just showing you how to change a banner. So we have these banners um, that change on every page and I want to be able to make it so that the client can update them without knowing much about HTML and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually go create a new banner. So the banner we're going to put in, uh, we're going to put it on this page here that doesn't currently have a banner. So I've gone and created my banner uh, in Photoshop. It's right here, ready to go. Um, I've created it to the correct dimensions of what I specified in the other video of how big I wanted the image under width and height. So I can see it's 960 and 365, which is perfect. So what I'll do is I'm gonna save this image down. We're gonna save it as a JPEG. And we're gonna put it into our little folder and we're gonna call it, uh, well, I've already gone here, call it Fiji. I'm gonna save that. And we're going to replace that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our admin section. So we're going to flip over to our admin section and we're going to go to uh, blogs and pages. And we're going to the page that we are going to change. So we are going to change, I believe, which page was that? About the teacher. Yeah, we were going to change this page here. So we're going to click on that and it'll come up and we can see our text that we have on that page and we're going to go into edit. Now we're going to make a space at the top and we're going to insert an image. We are going to go upload the image that we just created. So it's in our image gallery. And then we're gonna click on it. And we're gonna come up with this little menu which tells us the size that we wanna create it. We wanna make it original. We don't wanna do any resizing because we already did that beforehand in Photoshop. So we're gonna insert the image. Now here's where the trick comes in. We've got the image here. If we just saved it now, it's gonna show up in the body, but we don't want that. We want it to actually show up in the header. So we're gonna flip over to view HTML. And we're gonna look here and see how it's got the image source. We're going to add a class called feature to this image. And by doing that, that tells the system that we want to take this image and we want to actually move it and place it somewhere else. We'll hit save page, flip back over to the page that we wanted, refresh it, and we got our header. Now this one's a little bit small. You can see I should have uploaded the 980 one. I resized it incorrectly. So what I'm going to do is I'll come back here. I'm going to change this to... 980, save it down, place it, back to the min side, edit, I'm going to delete this one, and I'm going to insert a new image, like so, original size, UHTML class equals feature and then save. We go back to the page and we have the proper size.